Hey everyone, I'm Mike Rylander, and this is So That Happened, the weekly weird news show that proudly claims this man is our number one fan. He's wearing some type of women's tights, I'm guessing, that come up toward, uh, kind of up towards his butt, and then he's completely naked from the waist down. Up first, we head to the depths of planet Earth's oceans, where scientists from the University of Basel in Switzerland and Balfield University in Germany have published new groundbreaking research regarding flatworms. But before we can cover these graphic new discoveries, they're graphic, trust me. We must first learn a little bit about the biology of these colorful creatures. No, oh, I look at the little cute flatworms. Hi, wormies. Flatworms have both male and female sex organs. Well, that escalated quickly. But when it comes time to make little flatworms, they have to decide who plays which role, and that they fight over. The two flatworms rear up, exposing their midsections. Ha! Cool! We're gonna fight each other with those jutting white nibs, which are most certainly cool-ass weapons. Bam! 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 Those jutting white nibs aren't weapons. They are actually the worm's penises. A double-barreled inseminator. Oh. They're penises. <laughs> Two penises, per flatworm, who also have vaginas. And they fight to see who can stick it and who first. <laughs> flatworm sex is hot. Flatworm sex consists of the two attempting to stab their lover with their pointing pair, an act delicately referred to as penis fencing. I think penis fencing might be the most specific category of delicate hentai porn that's ever existed. But there's nothing delicate about it. Flatworms have been known to gouge holes in each other in battles lasting up to an hour. Jesus. And I thought my wife liked it rough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Tip your waitresses. Okay, here's what I want to know. Why are flatworms so eager to be the dad? The winning father can go out and about in the world without any further responsibility. The losing mother must now work longer and harder to find food and stay alive. Holy shit. Flatworms are misogynistic assholes. Whoa, don't get clingy there, babe. That's your problem now. I'm a free flatworm, and I got an ocean to explore. Later. The new development in the field of flatworm sex that was just published in the scientific journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B is this. When a flatworm engages another flatworm in sexual battle, Sup babe, so you want a penis fence or what? And that flatworm is neither the penis stabber nor the penis stabby. <laughs> Go f yourself in the head. That flatworm then f**ks itself right in the head. I'm gonna repeat myself, the flatworm f**ks itself in the head. Um, I do what? Yes, you heard me correctly. Flatworms who are not able to successfully penis fence with another flatworm then stab themselves in their own head with their own penis. They inject themselves with their own sperm, which then swim down through their body and inseminate their own female sexual organs. They f themselves in their own head. Can you guys go? I think this is something I need to do alone. Yes, my friends, the flatworm is now the first and only animal that we know of that can officially f**k its own face until it's pregnant. And that's just science, folks. Now that's f**ked up. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You can watch our full episodes at SoThatHappened.tv. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or I'm going to come to your house with my double penises and f**k you in the face.